Hello Minecraft fans, Dave Chaos here, and another spotlight for you. Uh, this one is the mini blocks, as you might have guessed from the video intro. So I'm going to go straight into it and show you how to make these things once it's installed. Um, all you need is, is a workbench and a stack of dirt, or dirt in general. You place them in the middle and you'll get a little blocks block. Right, and I will show you what you need to do with these in a second. So let's get them like that. And let's get some random blocks. So we'll have some cobble, some wood, glass, and some some cloth. Well, even sorry. So what you do is uh, you need to put down the little blocks block. Now it works like a template. So I'm going to show you here in this corner. You can put one on the floor. And you see how um, I've got these little selections now, and I've not here. You see how it's selected this block, but when I go to this one with the little box block on it it shows all the little dinky blocks. So what I can do now is I can place the cobblestone there and the same works with if you put it on the side of there you can now do it like that. Now these can work outside of their own range so by that I mean let's get a proper stack of wood. Uh, there's an infinite stack of wood. So I've placed a block here and I've not got one here. Uh, sorry, a blocks block there. So I can go like this, build up, and you can then build out of its range like this. So it then makes this area workable with the little blocks block. And again, if I put, see that's a normal block, but if I put one next to that, it then becomes like that. So it spreads, basically. Now, I'll just show you around this way what you can do with all your blocks. So I've already laid out all the compatible blocks. Now the doors are supposed to work but for some reason it doesn't for me. I don't know why that is but I couldn't get the doors. Um, and everything else seems to be fine. So let's have a look. Yeah, there's nothing in my inventory so I've definitely got everything to place. So here's all the blocks. There's even a switch right there. Can you see it? And then you've got all the blocks, so we've got all all the different um, plant life and all that sort of stuff. Redstone there, torches, a switch that works, that's snow, and I believe you can even have fire now. Um, in the old updates it didn't work. The old versions, I should say. Fire was a bit weird and the torches were a bit weird. Uh, you've even got like an enchantment table there. And then we've got uh, cobwebs displaying properly, pistons. And then all the half blocks, different types of half block, chests which actually work. There you go. And furnaces don't actually work, unfortunately. Uh, and neither do uh, the jukeboxes. But there's every block, and the cakes are normal now as well, where they didn't used to be. So that is every block, with the exception of the doors. And then, oh, and of course, paintings. I've got painting there. Now, some of the cool stuff you can do with this, I'll show you. It's something like this. I thought I'd, I'd, I'd do this guy because, you know, everybody loves the Yogg's cast, so why not? <laughs> so there is a uh, Honeydew's face, and just to prove to you that it's not a painting, you can see the side of it there, look. So there we are. And then, of course, you can take it a little bit further than that and build yourself something like this. Check this out. So all I've done is I've marked off an area and uh, fenced it off with normal fence, and then I've put all the blocks blocks down like so you just put them down like that and then you can place your blocks on and break them off if you don't want it there and I basically built trees trees don't grow from the saplings although you can place saplings they won't grow from the saplings and um, so I've had to make this tree but then you've got you know your fence and if you look inside there you can see the enchantment table and, and all, all the other stuff the glass and if you come around the back yep so there you go, and then over here we've got little bits of grass and flowers and a water block there. So I made like a little fountain, another little house, and I just did a paddock type thing. This was going to be a clock tower, but I, I didn't get the scale right, so I couldn't put a clock face on it properly. But um, here's the uh, a, a, you know a, a track with redstone. Now, unfortunately. Uh, the carts don't work on this. If you place a cart on it, I'll show you what happens. Let's find a cart. Uh, what page are they on? There they are. It just kind of disappears. Yeah. 
doesn't quite work, which is a bit of a shame. Yeah, it's just vanished. There we go. But you can do some pretty cool stuff with this. Um, the miniature portal there, as you probably noticed as I was chatting away, that um, I lit with flint and tinder and it just started working as you'd expect it to. And then the greatest thing that's been, now been added to this is redstone now works uh, with a little block spark and piston. So here's a normal piston, just directly wired up to a switch, miniature switch. And there we are. And then I've done this one here, which is just to show that um, other items that use redstone work, so the repeaters. There you go. Look at that. That is just brilliant. And you can change the speed of them as well as you'd expect. There you go. There's a good little example for you. So, yeah, I really enjoyed this. And of course, as you will have guessed from the intro, it's completely compatible with the uh, the Clay Soldiers mod, which is fantastic because I just love the Clay Soldiers mod. So let's get ourselves uh, some of these dudes going. Here we go. So I was going to aim at um, making the houses the right size for them because I really misjudged the size of the Clay Soldiers, which is probably you know, why you were thinking, you know, why the hell are the doors so large? And that was because I was trying to get the Clay Soldiers to live in the houses. See, so he'll go in and out, but they kind of get trapped. Like this one's too small for a clay soldier. Let's. Uh, uh oh, I think I've just spawned 111 clay soldiers. Yes, it didn't, didn't work out too well. 111 clay soldiers. <laughs> yeah. So as I was going to show you, let's get back. To, let's just get a stack of 16. There we are. That's safer. In fact. Let's just have one. Thank you very much. One clay soldier in there, and he kind of gets stuck. Poor little dude. But yeah, there we go. Look at that. It's awesome. So, like I did with the um, opening scene to this video, the, the possibilities that you could do with this are, are just endless, really. <laughs> we were. I was joking last night with Gar that we could do um, some silly video with a giant chicken attacking the town with laser eyes and all that sort of stuff, as you do. <laughs> but there we are, I've had loads of fun with both the clay soldiers mod and this mini blocks mod. They're, they're just fantastic little things and it's awesome to find that they're compatible with each other. It's, yeah, it's just brilliant. Definitely check this one out, download in the description as always, and um, if you like this video, please click the like button. 